What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Date 12, May, Thursday. What year? No, what year is it? United against life as we know it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's it. Whoa. Ginger! Ginger Snaps was initially released film festival in August 2000. However, it wasn't released to the club or worldwide until May 11, 2001. And today marks its 40th anniversary. So, does it hold up? So, kind of weird and wonky on a release date, but either way, I want to really watch this film because it has two supernatural actors in Ava, aka Ginger, aka Captain Bell, and then Becky, aka B or Bridget, aka Emily Perkins. So, I was like, okay, two actors that you know, know already, and they're in this low budget film festival film. This is going to be interesting, and it is a werewolf film. It's kind of new to me as well. So, I guess in a way, it's about two sisters that are close to each other, and throughout the film, and near the end, eventually, and sadly, they grow apart. They have to kill one of each other. One has to survive. It happens due to a bit from a werewolf, and progressively being reckless, showing, not telling their parents, obviously, because their parents are completely oblivious to what their daughters are doing. And then with school bullies, and school boyfriends, and just everything, PMS stuff, you know, it's like, alright, this is all gonna lead to sad things, and a tragedy. So, uh, Ginger, B, or Bridget, is, yeah, they, most of color B, but I guess I call her B as well. Two sisters, the werewolf wolf in the film there's two you have the school people or i'm gonna go the the mean girl or i guess the, yeah, the mean girl and then the guy that ninja sleeps with and affects the oblivious parents you get that one van boy i'm calling van boy yeah, i think that's it so let's talk about van boy so this van boy or van slash lab kid he like knows a lot or he saw the werewolf that bit ginger all three of these characters saw it throughout the film it's just kind of this weird like hey i know what we saw are we gonna talk about it they do and he actually helps them in the end like ginger once she gets banned changes her attitude she's like oh he just wants sex with you and that's totally not true this is out of character for ginger because of this bit and he eventually tries to help them he's not no asshole he's not trying to take the identity whatsoever he's actually trying to help these girls fascinated with what he saw by hitting this willing it and not expect it we the werewolf we don't get to see it until the end but when i first saw it, it was like the first frame of animation again it didn't look quite best but this is a low budget so i'll give it a pass but it's like okay this is a great looking werewolf first time we see him you know chasing ginger it is you know shaky kind of like well, i can't look at the werewolf come on show it to me and the first frame of show got this really wonky animation but again low budget i'll give it a pass and then let's talk about those students first of the mean girl always be mean to these two sisters and not for no reason well i guess i guess for a reason because ginger and b they're like obsessed with weird things suicide and shit and so because of that people make fun of it so this big girl just goes after them you know she's like uh, she calls ginger a slut at one point because she's sleeping with a bunch of guys and whatnot and again she's just a mean girl and they both get a revenge but not in a way that he likes it because they you know they get her killed when well, she technically kills herself she bangs her head by the edge of the you know cable but you know ginger's the one that initiates this whole like grabbing her in a house pushing her she gets a knife the main girl and then bam she slips and falls and so now they've not technically met murder but they've been associated with murder so it's like oh crap they have to have that body from their parents which is super messed up and then this flies around talk about this missing girl this missing mean girl and so one i was like yeah she's gonna die but like oh no it's quite sad well okay maybe, maybe not sad like you know don't ever wish anyone to die or anything but it's like you know she deserves some sort of messing up with her killing herself hit her in a freezer and then the one guy forgot his name again she just with him and infects him with this werewolf disease and so so throughout the film, he has these bumps and shit, confronts Beef, and then tries to like talk to Beef. So Van Boy and her, they create a cure through plants or some shit. I completely forgot about this whole thing. I just remembered it. But they create this cure, test it on this guy, and then it works. First try it works. He still has a needle stuck when he's like walking away. But he was basically there, I guess, for like a lab rat. And then these parents, their parents, are completely horrible parents. They're oblivious to what their daughters are doing, their interests. They do know that they like to take pictures of like murder, pretending to commit suicide or death. Again, super weird. That's the only thing they know. Like that at one point is really sus of them and suspicious, be like, what is this girl up to? Seems like dad knows, you know, what's up. But the mom is just like, you know, they're teenage girls. They're starting their periods. And how did they get to this point? They live in like suburban areas. Like, how the hell do they? They just like suicide or some shit, you know? They like dressing in dark clothing and start saying weird stuff. Murder people. I think they start talking about murdering like one of the mean girls' boyfriends or something like that. Again, it's like, how did these girls get to this point? Parents are kind of, they're there to, I don't know, be just kind of there? I don't know. Like, they're there to be kind of funny, but be like, man, these are horrible parents, essentially. And then the sisters. So, we've got Ginger. I'm assuming she's the oldest one. She's the one that everybody wants. B, who's the youngest one, I just assume. She's not like so much because of her look. Like, based off the what the boys, especially those, those three boys who are like, hey, which one you want to get? They talk about Ginger all the time. And so these two sisters, they like the opening where it's like taking photos of suicide or death. <laughs> 
them who went to the class and not like it whatsoever. So like any other teenage girls, they decide to, you know, walk outside. But before that, they do mention the big fact that despite these two girls being in high school, haven't started their menstrual cycle yet. Ginger starts it, starts bleeding. It's an issue. She doesn't like it. And I'm assuming because of this, the werewolf smells this blood and goes after Ginger specifically. I'm assuming that's what happened. I could be completely wrong. She could be in the process. Bad boy runs over and kills a wolf. They go back to their house. She has a bunch of scars. They don't tell their parents. Who, who would tell their parents? And then they sleep at the night. She wakes up. The scar starts healing. And weird things start happening. There's a change in Ginger. You know, like going after boys, being very horny, growing a goddamn tail. I remember seeing the scene of her checking her sister's like back. Like, what the f is that? I thought it was finger, but no, it's a goddamn tail. It was like, oh, that's what it is. And so because of this change, she leaves her sister behind in a way. Leaves her lonely. She's even more lonelier than both were before. And from B's, you know, perspective, this isn't her sister. She wants her sister back, back to the way it was. Both of them together, united. There's like a pinky sword being like both united until the end comes to fruition. Ginger's perspective, she's feeling the best that she's ever been. And I do like the fact that Ginger isn't a monster. There are moments in the film where she's like, she needs help. She doesn't know why she's like this. She's like throwing up. She like ate their dog. Which, bro, this dog fit telling this dog to shut up. That was hilarious. But she eats like their dog and like she needs help. But she's crying for help. It gets to a point where she changes her physical form, dark spots in her eyes, until she eventually turns into a big gray werewolf. And then this is where we see like the actual look. It looks decent. <laughs> For a low budget film, this is a decent looking werewolf. B holds a knife and a syringe with a cure, and then Ginger's coming across. We're to assume that B took the syringe and injected, but it's a knife killing this werewolf, aka her sister, and killing the only person that she's ever cared about, and leaves her all lonely again. The movie ends with her laying on her dead sister's body. She gets a scratch on her palm, which I think is gonna come back in the sequel, but I'll watch that whenever I watch that. It ends with a perfect shot of her laying next to her sister's body, and that's how the movie ends, which is a perfect way for both of them being united, still being together despite tragedy and circumstances that they are left in. Coming of age, seeing such the person that you saw was a friend and close to you seeing this change in them and them crying for help as well was a hard time for b doesn't want to do probably should have asked for help you know again for experts but because they have this you know tunnel vision and perspective they have only themselves but these two sisters that don't know what they're doing and in the end one of them has to die tragically so yeah ginger snaps 20 years later still an effective film and it's still pretty damn good so that's it for me this has been the result far and thank you for watching